What's up? It's Mac, we're back. Today, we are venturing out on Big Athapap. We are going after lake trout today. And that's one super thing, super nice thing about me uh, relocating over to Viking is that through Viking Lodge, we offer guided lake trout days out on Big Athapap, Second Cranberry, all the lakes. So today we're gonna go dabble around in some lake trout country and see what we can do. Super pumped to get out on the old stomping grounds and see what we can find. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go! All right, we made it out. I did a bit of putting around, a bit of detouring on the way out. Just because there's a few little things I wanted to check out on the way out. But we are officially out where I think we're going to start to fish. I'm going to start out by just going around and probably just sharp shooting some fish here. So I'm going to overlay some live scope footage here. And hopefully go around and sharp shoot some fish. This is a new area to me here. So we're going to do some exploring in the process. The bait I'm going to use to sharp shoot here is just this little jig head. So I think it's a I think it's called a poison head, big sky flying jigs. And I just got a little Z-Man three inch paddle tail on the back of it. Nothing big, but you don't need a big fish, or you don't need a big bait to catch a big fish rather. So the area I'm kind of focusing on right now, it's really, really rocky. So areas like this, typically you're not gonna find a crazy amount of fish, but typically you can always find a few aggressive fish on top of. So I'm gonna kind of scan around it a little bit and see what we can find here. There's a fish coming up here. Where are we? There we are. Let's see if we can get this fish to bite. You can see the bait going down there. Slowly but surely. Come on, baby. Sink, sink. Once this fish sees it here, we'll be able to tell if it's going to bite or not. Any second now. Any second. Does it see it? Yeah, it sees it. It's coming. It's charging. Chasing all the way up. Not super fast, but it's chasing. Man, it chased me all the way up to like 15 feet, 30 feet. See if it'll chase me back down. Oh yeah, it likes it on the fall too. Come on, bro. Rejected. First fish of the day, we got turned down. And he totally disappeared. What the heck? Oh. What the heck? There's a couple of fish up super high here. I'll catch these guns. Little gaffers, but I'll catch them. 20 feet away, so literally right up near the motor here. There's my bait going down on the live scope. You can see it there. Nope, one grabbed it already. Letting it fall down again. The other one's charging it now. I'm going to let it fall. See if we can see it on the live scope here at all. There's a bait going down. And there's one of the fish. There. I'm going to reel up to this fish here and catch him. There we go. It's charging. Oh, bumped it and missed it. Bumped it again. There we go. Suck him this time. 
it's amazing the technology with these live scopes and, and the way it lets you fish. It's unbelievable. Just a little gaffer, but it's the first fish of the day. Just a young pup. Caught him up super high in the column. So it's got a lot of energy to go back down there and get caught again. All right. Oh, there's one more. Might as well catch it quickly. Come on, bro. I know there's two of you. There's a pair of young gaffers. This thing does not sink quick enough. I'm gonna put on a heavier jig here. Okay, so unfortunately we missed that second fish, but I just rigged up a little bit heavier jig head here. This is another Big Sky Jigs jig head and the same Z-Man plastic. So we're gonna keep lurking around and see what we can find. Just mountains underwater there. Heavy duty rock piles. Like I said, I've never fished out here, so this is a little bit new water to explore. Even though I've been fishing Athapat for a while, there's still always stuff to explore. My rule of thumb with fishing is if you're not learning something new every time you go out, you're doing something wrong. Whether it's something to do or something not to do, you gotta be learning every time you go out. Otherwise, you're missing out. There's a fish up high here. Quite high. Oh my gosh, there's two fish actually. One's already chasing me down. Come on baby, eat it. Chasing her down pretty hard here. I'm gonna try coming up now. Give her a bit more real estate to come up and eat it. Picky. Come on, baby. Doesn't know what she wants. It's chasing me down right now pretty hard. Shooting down at it hard now. Man, it's blasting down. I'm gonna see if it'll eat it right off the bottom. If it didn't want to eat it suspended, I guess. Nothing, I'll try coming up. It's chasing me. Doesn't want the smoke. There she comes. Getting slightly more aggressive each time I drop down its face and reel up.
Oh, it bumped it there. Gave me a little bump. Don't tell me that's all you got. Bro. Why you gotta be like that, dude? Oh man, pulled my britches down. Okay, we're gonna reel up. We're gonna go look around some more mud because it doesn't seem like there's a ton of fish on the rocks, honestly. All right, we found some fish here. A little bit more mud bottom than rock. We're gonna try dropping down on these fish and see if we can get one to bite. I got distracted and did a little bit of mapping. A little side, side tracked, but that's all right. This mark over here looks to be a little bit better. Must not have seen me yet. There's two fish up high as well. I'm gonna drop through these ones and then try to go up. Those ones obviously do not care. I'll try going up to these other fish up here. Ones here are probably going to be more aggressive. Usually, the higher in the water column they are, typically the more aggressive they are. I'm a little bit away from these fish, though. I'm going to cast at that fish there. Oh, just as I do that, there's one that actually comes into me now. I'll drop down on this one's head, catch him. Then go catch the other one. That's the plan at least. There we go. Picky, picky, picky. There's a lot of fish super high in the column right now, I noticed. Like a lot of fish up at that like 25 30 feet kind of range this one sees me oh oh couple swings and misses there there's another one coming up now sinking 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 chasing me down chasing me down there we go it's locked in now i'm gonna try coming up around bro they're not super after it right now struggling there's a few fish here on the drop off I'm gonna drop down on these fish here Up right on top of their heads. There we go. They're chasing. Oh, that one is. One is for sure. One bumped it. I dropped down to them again. There's a pile of fish in here. It's too bad I suck so bad. Come on, baby. One charging from the top down right now, like so fast. Oh my goodness. I think it ate it. Nope, dropped it. Charged down like a bullet.
That thing charged like a freight train though. Man, do I suck or what? There's one. Oh man, missed him. Bit of the gate. That one came out of nowhere. I barely even marked it. Just when I was starting to think I really do suck. Am I am I bad? A little gaffer. Got rejected a few times there before I finally got this one to go. Easy there, little fella. Right through the beak. Okay, I'm just gonna unhook you in the water then if you're gonna be like that. Got her done. There's a fish here dropping down on him. Should be falling right in front of its face here. Come on, dude. Come on, dude, man. Oh my gosh, I'm tangled up in my own rod. There it is. Chase me down, are you? Well, I'm good at that. Getting rejected. Marked a few fish up here, a little bit shallower. I'm gonna try to drop onto. I'm struggling to get these fish to bite. So I think I might do is I might end up just spot locking on a spot with like just good structure and just waiting for some active fish to come through. Because right now with it being so calm, it seems like everything's just super stationary. There's one coming up. Come on, baby. Come on. Running out of room. Eat it. It's weird, these fish, man. Bizarre. Okay, we're going to go pick a piece of structure and just sit on it and wait for these fish to turn on. Because they're down there, just not snapping. All right, we did a long run across the lake. And we're trying again, another new area I've never fished before. So we're gonna give it a go, set up on a spot. I'm just gonna wait it out and see what happens. Hopefully yield some more results than the last few spots. Already marking a few fish that are suspended right now. I didn't even really drive around to mark fish specifically. I just picked a piece of structure and we're setting up on it, seeing what happens. Oh yeah, these fish are charging, wow. That fish showed a lot more aggression than any of the fish over there. Look at it chasing me down. Where'd he go? There it is. Oh, smoked it. Might be onto something, hopefully. Not a big fish by any means. Boom, perfect, that works. Yeah, that was the first fish that literally showed up here at this new spot and it was charged. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come. I'm noticing there's a lot of bait fish here moving around too, which is good. Oh, there's a fish down there on the bottom zipping around chasing me. Just went off to the side over here. There's so much bait, it's actually quite hard to read. You just gotta kind of filter through all the bait fish, I guess. Oh, there's a fish up high here, coming in. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Boom! Pow! Man, lake trout never get old. It's a super skinny little fella, but 
Never get old. So cool catching these things so fast. Fish is a fish. With lake trout, you just gotta wait it out. It's a patience game. It's a lot different than a lot of different, it's a, it's a lot different than most other species out there in the sense that you just gotta pay your dues, wait it out. So good to be out chasing lake trout. So I've been catching a few fish, nothing crazy, but we're out here doing it on one of my favorite lakes, Lake Athapap. So if you guys wanna come up fishing, get at me at Viking Lodge. You guided lake trout days out here, guided stuff on the cranberries, everything. So if you're looking for a guided experience, wanna come in the boat, see some of the newer day and age electronics, new styles of fishing possibly, just show you guys a whole new experience, hopefully teach you guys something. Let me know, Viking Lodge, check them out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be pumping out some more videos here shortly. I got some plans in the works and this channel is going to get pumping.